was in my mid-teens, I found this old 10-gauge double-barreled shotgun with a broken stock hanging in a shed in my uncle's farm in Wisconsin. No one seemed to know anything about it or to care much about it, so I asked for it and I got it. I took it home to Texas and bought a new walnut stock for it and then started to carve it to fit. It did not take long to learn that walnut is about as hard as granite. I did not have the proper tools or the skills to do this. So, before I completely ruined the stock, I just put the whole thing away. Over the years, I've come across the part several times, but never felt the desire to work on it. Well, last winter, I picked it up again and decided to take it to the gunsmithing school in Lakewood, Colorado. I had some work done there in the 70s on a 22 that I had, and they did a fine job. As it turns out, they would not take this shotgun for several reasons. Mostly, they felt it would take too long to do the stock work. A student has to be able to complete a project during their class period, and this was just going to be too much, they felt. Another reason was they said they thought they would have to test fire the gun when complete. Since it is a Damascus-barreled gun, I did not want to risk damaging it. After all, this was going to be nothing but a wall hanger, never to be fired. So I got out some small chisels, my Dremel tool, and started to work. First thing I learned is that this is not the right type of stock for this gun, but it's what I have and I decided to do the best I could with it. The second thing I learned is why this stock was broken in the first place. After all of the inletting for metal parts, there's not much wood left. And the third thing I learned is that my skills were sufficient to produce something that looks like a shotgun, especially from maybe 10 feet away. In the pictures, you can see the huge amount of wood that had to be removed. I used a sharp pencil and sometimes a straight edge razor to trace along the lock to make sure it had a close fit. The only metal parts I made were the butt plate and the trigger guard. It's also missing the extractor ejector. I made a drawing of it and I think I could make one, but that will have to wait. I did my drawing with Google SketchUp and it's done in 3D. The trigger guard is made of a piece of 1 inch by 1 8 inch steel. I cold bent it and filed it to shape. This shotgun was made by T.B. Janney, and his name is stamped on the side. I could not find out much about him except that he worked in the late 1800s and early 1900s. I think this shotgun is from about 1890 to 1900. I based that on some pictures I found on the internet. The barrels are marked Fine Damascus, Belgium. I did find a couple of these had been sold, and they were in good original condition, but they are only worth two to three hundred dollars. Although mine looks okay, it's currently doing the only job it will ever be asked to do. Hang on the wall over the fireplace. Thanks for watching.